You're listening to the American Democracy Minute, keeping your government buy-in for the people. We're back in Alabama today, where civil rights groups go back to federal district court to oppose the legislature's defiant, racially gerrymandered congressional voting district map. The U.S. Supreme Court's Allen v. Milligan decision made clear that to be in compliance with Section 2 of the Voting Rights Act, Alabama should create a map with two majority-minority districts. The state has seven congressional districts and is almost 27% African American, but has only one majority black district. The legislature refused, again creating one barely majority black district at 50.65%, and another district, which the overwhelmingly white majority legislature calls an opportunity district, at 40%. During the Milligan case, experts proposed a map with two majority black districts, which the legislature chose to ignore. A complaint filed July 28th by plaintiffs begins with the words, Alabama is in open defiance of the federal courts, and they ask, quote, that the court enjoin Alabama's proposed plan as a plainly insufficient remedy and proceed to a court-driven remedial process to ensure plaintiffs obtain relief in time for the 2024 election. The remedial process would likely be a court-appointed special master to draw a compliant map. The complaint will be heard August 14th in U.S. District Court in Birmingham. We have a link to the full complaint at AmericanDemocracyMinute.org. I'm Brian Beal.